everyone, Fed here, and welcome back to another How To Build video. In this video, I'll be showing you how to build the Five Nights at Candy's 3 map. Now, I was hesitant on building it since it's only a demo release, so I don't know if this is the full map. I'm sure it's probably not, but this is only a demo release. Now, like I said, I was hesitant on doing it, but so many of you guys were asking me on my sister location map if I can go ahead and build this, and on a bunch of my older Five Nights at Freddy's and Five Nights at Candy's map. So if you want to see Five Nights at Candy's 1 and 2 as well, I'll have a link to those in the description below. But so many of you were asking, and you guys destroyed the sister location map with so many likes comments and you know what i there was, it was a no-brainer i might as well just do it for you guys but you guys are gonna have to keep me up to date with the game i'm not gonna keep up to date with this game so when an update comes out for it if there's more to it you're gonna have to go hey fed in the comment section below the full game of five nights of candy came out can you go back and do whatever is in it because i'm sure this is probably not going to be the only portion of the map but it has like a five nights at freddy's four feel where you're inside of a room and you're looking around and there's a rat trying to kill you yes there's a <laughs> there's an animatronic rat trying to kill you and the thing is terrifying looking but this is probably the most wompy room that i've ever seen in a five nights of any kind of map any spin-off or anything like that this is a very wompy room i'm pretty sure i got it down packed though also a heads up before we start building this map too because this is the whole thing guys i don't really have to go through it this is this is it this is the whole entire map giving a heads up now this is definitely on the second floor of a house because the roof dips down right here as you can see it dips down right here so if you are building this highly recommend putting it on the second floor of a building because it definitely is on the second floor of a building because the roof comes down right here but this is basically everything you know rack comes in through here now this is the way out of the room and that's not supposed to be opening that direction you know what i forgot i changed the door let me go quickly change this door around or that is going to straight up annoy me it's supposed to be opening in this direction right here it's supposed to open like that there we go perfect so this will obviously go outside of the room and this is probably the biggest room i have ever seen i know you're just like a little kid in the bed but this kid has a bigger room than me i think his room is like three times bigger than mine and then also rat will come out of this wardrobe right here i was going for aesthetic look so obviously we can't go inside the wardrobe but you can always change it up and then there is under the bed and as you can see i can't actually i didn't actually change the carpet around there now i highly recommend using wood as the floor but it kind of was like reddish so i just went with red carpet and then of course over here is another closet that the rat comes out of god this room is so big <laughs> this kid has like the biggest room in the world so let's go ahead and start building this thing guys like i said it's definitely on the second story of the house so i definitely built i definitely recommend building this thing on the second story if you want to check out my other five nights at candy's map they'll be in the description below also this is just a demo so if you want me to do the future one when it's fully released make sure you let me know in the comment section below when it is released because i'm definitely probably not going to keep up to date with it all right guys so here's the dimensions of this build like i said it's definitely on the second story of a house so i recommend putting it on a second story but if you want to go ahead pause the video and do this whole entire little layout this is the exact dimensions of this entire room so if you want to pause the video however i'm going to be starting up right now all right guys so i'm going to start off by placing in the floor first for the entire build so i'm just going to count it out with you and just in case you didn't do the whole layout so we're going to go one two three four five six seven eight 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 blocks of red wool going this way. And then go up this way. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 blocks of red wool, making a total of 7 if we count the first one. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then we're going to go that way. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then we're going to go that way. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Turn left. And then we're going to count this way. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then we're going to go that way. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Then go this way. 3, well, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And then just connect it right in. That's just in case people didn't do the entire layout. So that should be everything. Now what I'm going to do is just speed up the video. But we're going to go ahead and just fill in this entire floor with red wool. Next up, take out some pink hardened clay and wrap it around this entire build four times. So we have to go one, two, three, four around your entire red carpet. So I'm going to speed up the video once again. All right, guys, so once you have all your walls built up and you got your floor and let's go ahead and start up on the props. So we're going to start off with this wall right over here. It should be a nice and easy build, guys. This should not be as hard as all my other Five Nights at Freddy's builds that I have done. So starting over here at this corner. So if we're staring at our map like this, it's going to start over here at this corner. We're going to take out some quartz stairs and quartz slabs. I'm going to come out from this wall with quartz stairs five times. One, two, three, four, five like that. 
and then right above them do three more one two three next up take out slabs and place slabs right above these and right above these as well and that will make that little cubby space that he has in his roof then we're going to switch over here to this side placing two quartz blocks with two magenta carpet on top of them next up take out some acacia wood stairs and place two acacia wood stairs right here one two do that again on this side one two so now we have four acacia wood stairs facing into each other and then place two slabs right on top of them next up take out some spruce doors and place in spruce doors backwards one two and that's going to make that little uh wardrobe thing that rat pops out of like i said this is completely aesthetics so we can't enter the wardrobe if you want to go ahead and change it up if you know of a way to play uh place in a wardrobe that looks nice there while also making it so you can go inside of it you can absolutely go ahead and do that next up take out some paintings and right here we're going to have a one high painting so let's go ahead and just do this boom boom and we're going to need a one high painting i like to have a dark one though there we go that looks really really good and then right over here above this slab, we're going to have a two wide painting. So we're going to need one just like that. But right here, there we go. Perfect. We're going to have a two wide painting and then a one high painting right there. Next up, right over here in front of these quartz blocks, we're going to take out some stone slabs and place two stone slabs right there. Take out your acacia wood stairs once again and place one upside down right next to that stone slab here. And then one facing backwards over here as well like this. There we go. Next up, we're going to need a flower pot and place one flower pot right here on top of that acacia stair. And it's pretty much going to be that entire side completely done. Next up, we're going to do the wall over here to the left. So come right here to the corner. We're going to count in one block, one, and place down two lime hardened clay like this with two item frames off the front of it and then iron trap doors off the front of those. Next up, place two string on top of it and then take out some dark oak fence gates. I'm going to need one here. And one here. So what I like to do is just place two blocks in like this and then place in your fence gates. Go ahead and break the blocks under them and then make sure you open up the fence gates. Next up, we're going to need some cyan carpet and we're going to place cyan carpet right along all of this. Now, the reason why we can place it here is thanks to that string. And then we're going to place another row right above that. And that's going to be the shelving. Next up, we're going to need some rails because he does have a little mine cart track right here. Well, not mine cart track. He has a little train set here. But we really don't have anything besides rails that pretty much make a train set. So we're going to come one block out from this cabinet right here. We're going to come up four. One, two, three, four. Then come this way. Four. One, two, three, four. Bring it down one over one. And now just connect it together like that. And that's what I came up with. If you want to go ahead and place a little mine cart on it as well. It's going to take up a little room. But you can also have like a little mine cart here. And then get on it. And then go around forever for no apparent reason. <laughs> but I'm going to ah, You know, let's leave it there. It actually doesn't look too bad. It doesn't take up as much room as I thought it would. Next up over here on this wall, we're going to place a door right here using a birch door. Break out these two doors. I'm going to place a birch door facing this way. Make sure that it opens up the other way, though. If yours is opening up like this, then all you have to do is just break the door and then place in a door next to it right here and then place one in like this. And now it should open up the right way. You want to make sure that it opens up towards this wall right here. Now, they don't show anything in here. Like I said, it's just a demo. They don't show anything out there. I don't know if they'll ever show what's out there, but I'm pretty sure this is the way out of the room. So if you're building a house on the second floor, like I said, this is going to be the way out. So if you want to put like a staircase here to get down, that's probably the best option. Then right on this wall, he has a bunch of stars on the wall. And since, you know, Minecraft, you can't really put stars on the wall. I just went ahead and put some item frames. And then I put nether stars inside of the item frames. Now he has a bunch of these stars all over his wall. So if you want to fill up the wall with the uh, nether stars and item frames, go right ahead. But I just did these two on this wall just so the wall didn't look completely plain over here. Next up, we're going to swing back over here to this wall. And in this corner, we're going to place down some nether brick fences. I like to place in three. And then place in a wither skeleton skull on top of it. Now this is one of those lights that has a bunch of little lights coming off the side of it. And you can do it if you want. You can go like this and place another one here just so it looks like there's a bunch of lights coming off the side of it as well. I just thought it looked way too bulky like this but if you want to you can go ahead and do something like this i guess with uh the skull so it kind of looks like that light but it's really hard to build these in minecraft so i just went ahead and left it as the one light but i mean i guess you could just go ahead and do that if you really want to next up once you have this lighting we can go ahead and place in i guess it was a walk-in closet i'm only assuming because the rat sometimes runs out of this area so all we have to do is come over to this wall and right in between the two we're going to place in two birch doors make sure they're opening the right way as you can see this one is not opening the right way so let's go ahead and just place that in one more time like that and let me guess it's opening the wrong way again yep <laughs> we'll place this in right here and there we go that's the way you want it to open up just like that so we're gonna go ahead and open them up and then we can go ahead and break out this wall right here and you can do whatever you like in here they don't show what's in here and then we're just gonna take out our pink hard and clay and just go boop 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 like that and then we can go ahead and break this out and turn this over into red wool 
as well. So take out your red wool and place in your red wool like that. And there we go. That's the walk-in closet. And then over here to the right-hand side, we're going to have a seat right here. Now on this seat, there was plushies and a plushie underneath the seat. But since you can't really make plushies in Minecraft, I just left it an empty seat. Uh, if you have some way of thinking of a way to make some plushies, you can absolutely do that. But we're just going to leave it an empty seat just like that. And that's basically the entire room. All that's left to do is the bed, the ceiling, and we will be completely done, guys. Very easy thing to build. All right, guys. So to get started on the bed, what we're going to do is come over to this corner and count over five blocks. So one, two, three, four, five. Take out some acacia wood stairs and place one upside down right off the fifth block. And then coming out the stair, place in an acacia wood slab. And then we're going to have to place another stair going into a slab. So what I like to do is just place any block right here. It really doesn't matter. So let's just place a staircase here. And then face, an an face another acacia wood stair inwards towards it. And then the one closest to the wall, place down a brewing stand with a white carpet on top of it. That's going to be the lamp in the corner. And now we're going to go ahead and build our bed. So to get started on your bed, we're going to go ahead and take out some quartz stairs and place quartz stairs facing this way off the side of those acacia wood. And then take out some quartz slabs and place quartz slabs right on top of it. Then right here, we're going to place in four quartz slabs coming down. One, two, three, four, and do that on all three of them. This, we're going to make the big as, I mean, we're going to make, yeah, we're going to make the big as bed as possible. We're going to, we're going to make the big, we're going to make the bed as big as possible because the bed looks huge in the game. It looks ridiculously big because it is from a kid's perspective. So I'm pretty sure that's why the room looks this big as well. I'm pretty sure it's probably not this big, but from a kid's perspective, if he's younger, it probably looks way, way bigger to him. Then over here, we're going to do the same thing we did on this side. We're going to place in some stairs. And then place in some quartz slabs on top of them like that. Then over here at the end where we place in this acacia wood table, we're going to place in slabs for the bed of pillows. Then take out some green carpet and place this in for the bed's blanket. Then over here on this side, we're going to add a few more little cubbies in like we did over here. And we're going to place some quartz stairs upside down. So we're going to place in three upside down. So one, two, and three. And then right underneath it, I also like to place in some slabs under here just so it looks like the actual cubby itself. Now over here, there's kind of like a little puppet and there's also a bed. I mean, yeah, there's also a bed on the bear. I keep mixing up the words. There's also a little bear on top of the bed, which I'm pretty sure is Smike or whatever his name is. And I don't know who the puppet guy was, but we can easily make that little puppet do by placing in two slabs like this. And now all we need is a Steve head. So go ahead and take out a little Steve head, place a Steve head on top of these, break the block, and then go ahead and place a broom stand right underneath this Steve head like that. And that will make that little puppet dude at the end of the bed and guys that's pretty much it that's the entire thing also if you want to there is a bean bag in front of the uh, bed that's rainbow colored but you really can't make a rainbow colored bean bag if you want to you could just use full blocks and use let's say like orange and blue like that and just place like an orange and blue block right here to uh, make it look like that bean bag that's at the end of the bed but you know it actually doesn't look too bad yeah go ahead and do that that actually looks pretty fantastic <laughs> so now all we have to do is take out some white stained clay um white yeah white white hardened clay and then right here at the end above the bed we're going to come down one like this because like i said the roof dips in the roof without a doubt dips in right here so it's definitely on the second story of a building and now all you have to do is just fill in the entire roof with your white stained clay so i'm going to go ahead and just speed up the video here But there you guys have it. That's how you build the entire thing. Very, very easy build. So let's go ahead and hit ourselves with a night vision potion. Go ahead and walk in here so we can see the entire room. And it's not a hard build at all. Like I said, this is just a demo. So if you want me, to, if he does come out with the rest of the game and there's a lot more to the game, please let me know in the comment section below. I'm probably not going to keep up to date with it and I will not know. But I always read the comment section. So if enough of you are like, hey, Fed, he released the full game. Can you do the rest of the build? I will absolutely 100% do it. But there you guys go. That is how you build Five Nights at Candy's 3 demo. If you would like to build Five Nights at Candy's 1 and 2, I have a link to them in the description below. And I'll just have a link to all my other Five Nights at Freddy's builds as well in the description below. But guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Stay tuned with my newest videos. All right, guys. Peace.